In this video we're going to be solving this rational equation and basically what we're trying to determine is trying to solve it to find out what the value of k is. We've got a lot of k's on top and bottom. So we're going to go through this one and the first thing that we need to determine is what our lowest common denominator is here. Well in order to do that I know that I have a k plus 5 over here and then I've got a quadratic expression on the bottom on both of these two. So the very first thing that I'm going to need to do here is to factor this. Now fortunately on this one it looks like both of these two are the exact same quadratic expression so as long as we factor one it'll work for the other. So when we're factoring these I need to determine two numbers that multiply together to give me negative 20 but when we add together they give me a positive one this b value here. So negative 20 and positive 1 that should be a positive 5 and a negative 4. So I'm going to go ahead and factor those now. Now I rewrote this the only difference is instead of writing this um, this quadratic expression here I actually wrote them in factored form here. Now you can also factor this one up here but it will um, save you some time if you don't and we combine them later and then we can see if we need to factor anything after a while but just leave that one alone for now anything on the top the biggest thing is trying to uh, find what our lowest common denominator is. Okay so we've got a k plus 5 over here this one's got a k plus 5 t multiplied by a k minus 4 so the lowest common denominator in this case is going to be a k plus 5 times k minus 4 so these two already have the lowest common denominator there. This one isn't quite there. But now, when we're solving this one, we're going to um, use an easy method, I believe. The, the easiest method is going to be to multiply each part, this part right here, the middle part, and this last part, all by this lowest common denominator. And that sounds a little bit weird, but the reason why we're going to do that is we're going to get rid of these fractions as we're going through here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll multiply each section here. And notice I did those in blue just to make it a little bit easier to understand where those came from. I still have my 3k minus 6, I still have my k, and I still have my quadratic up here, this k squared plus 5k plus 4. All of those are still there. The only difference is now that I multiplied each section here by that lowest common denominator. And you'll start to see why that's important here in just a moment. Alright, now that we've got all that, we can see if there's anything on top and bottom we can start crossing off. And you'll notice this is a k plus 5 on bottom, I've got a k plus 5 on top so I can go ahead and start crossing those off. Alright, and you'll notice that I'll get rid of my denominator in all of these and that's how we get rid of our fraction. Now these, this k minus 4 and this 3k minus 6, those stay there, those don't change at all. Alright, we're going on to the middle section now. I have a k plus 5 on top and bottom. I can go ahead and cross those off. I also have a k minus 4 on top and bottom. I can cross those off. And I'm left with just a k in this case. Alright, over here I've got a k plus 5 on top and bottom. I can cross off and I can cross these off because I'm crossing off the entire quantity here. Uh, so normally if it's just a k and a plus 5, I can't normally cross those off unless I'm crossing off the exact same thing on top and bottom, the entire quantity. So it does work in this case. All right, and finally I've got a k minus 4 on top and bottom I can cross off. All right, so I've got a lot of things crossed off there. Let's um, rewrite it so that uh, we can see what's left. All right, and seeing what's left, I've got this k minus 4 times 3k minus 6. I've got a k right here equals and then the only thing that's left on this side is my quadratic expression. Now I need to simplify this just a little bit. I need to uh, go ahead and multiply these two together and I can FOIL those or I can use the box method. Either way is okay but you'll end up finding out that it's 3k squared minus 18k plus, or, excuse, plus 24. Now that is equal to this part right here, these two uh, binomials that we just multiplied together. Then I just write the rest of it just like you see it before plus k and then I've got equals this other quadratic here. Alright, now I need to get everything onto one side. Anytime you're solving a quadratic equation, everything needs to be on one side. So I need to move all of this to the other side. Now normally you can do it in three steps. Uh, I'm going to do it all in one step just to try to save some stuff. But before I do that I now realize that I've got k's right here uh, on this side. So I need to actually combine those two k's together. Uh, eight, negative 18k and positive k. I need to combine those two together. That will give me a negative 17k. Now that I've done that, I can move all of these over to the other side. So I'm going to do that. And you'll notice here, in order to get rid of them on this side, I've got a k squared here. I'm going to have to subtract k squared. The 5k, I'm going to need to subtract 5k. And then the 4, I'm going to need to subtract 4. But what I do to this side, I have to do to this side as well. So I'm going to do that now. So 3k squared minus k squared gives me my 2k squared. Negative 17k minus 5k gives me negative 20. Uh, negative, excuse me, negative 22k. And then 
24 minus 4 gives me 20, and that equals 0. Now that I have that, I've got my quadratic expression on one side, and it's equal to 0. So now I have this quadratic equation. Now from here, I have several different options. I can either plug this into the quadratic formula. Uh, I can factor out a 2. I can also factor these two. So I'm going to, the quadratic formula works all the time. If you want to use that, you can. There's no problem. I'm not going to model that one. Uh, I'm going to model the um, factoring portion. So I'm going to factor these two. So I'm going to move this up over here just so that we have room, just because I'm not going to have room right down, right down here. All right, so I'm going to rewrite it right there. If I were to factor this one, I've got 2k squared minus 22k plus 20. The very first thing that I'm going to do is to write I'm going to start setting up my binomials, but I'm going to write the 2k in front. Now, as I write these two, I know that this is wrong because 2k times 2k would actually give me 4k squared. So from the get-go, I know that this is wrong. I've got too many here. We're going to take those out in a, in a moment. All right, now that I have that, I need to figure out what I'm going to fill in on the other part of my binomials here. So what we're going to do is multiply a times c. So this is 2 times 20. Well, 2 times 20, we need two numbers that multiply together to give me 40 then. 2 times 20 is 40. Two numbers that multiply together to give me 40, but add together to give me negative 22. And as you work through your process here, you'll find out that that's negative 20 and negative 2. So I'm going to fill those in right here, negative 20 and negative 2, and it does not matter what order you write them in. I wrote them just negative 20 and negative 2 because both of these two are 2K. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. Now what we're looking for is these to determine if they have any common factors we can pull out. I've got 2k minus 20. That has a common factor of 2. So I'm going to factor that 2 out. Uh, and that leaves me with a k minus 10. Okay, with the, then what I do in order to make this one work, I'm, I've got to take out that 2. Remember when we initially started, 2k times 2k gives me 4k squared. So that doesn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and cross off that 2 at this point. Now what we need to look at here is these two binomials here have to multiply together to give me this original one and k times 2k squared does give me 2k squared so that does work if you go through all of the rest of them that will work as well for those of you really paying attention you'll notice over here that I have a 2k minus 2 this actually they share a 2 in common you can actually pull out a 2 there that one does not go away though it stays the reason being is because when we multiply these back together it has to give us this original one the reason why we cross this one out here is because if we left that one here and we multiplied all these together, it would give me a 4k squared. It would not give me my original quadratic expression. So we have to take that one out. Now, uh, you could have left this one in. You could have left the 2k minus 20, and you could have pulled this two out. That would have worked as well. When we're solving these, it really doesn't matter which one you, uh, which one you cross off, just as long as you cross off one and only one in this case. So anyway, okay, so now we know what our um, uh, factored forms are of that. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite those down here. Those were this came from right here, this k minus 10, and this 2k minus 2 are those two factored forms there. All right, now let's, let's bring it back in and let's start solving this now. All right, so I'm going to rewrite these over here just so I have some more room again. I've got the k minus 10 times 2k minus 2 equals 0. So what we're going to do now is separate those two. Uh, we've got a k minus 10 equals 0 and a 2k minus 2 equals 0. Now we're going to solve each one of these individually. We'll start with this one because it's the easy one. Uh, k minus 10, now what we're going to do is add 10 to both sides. We find out that k equals 10. Over here on this side, we've got a 2k minus 2 uh, equals 0, so now we're going to add 2 to both sides. There we go. Then we're, we've got 2k equals 2. Divide both sides by 2, we find out that k equals 1. So our answer here is 10 and 1. We've got two different answers. Now, when we're doing this, we always have to plug these back in to make sure that they're going to work. You're going to plug the 10 in for each one of these k's here. As long as it plugs in, okay, we'll, we'll be fine. You're also going to plug in the 1, and as long as those two equal each other and that there's no zeros on the denominator, you'll be fine too. In this case, it does work. Your answers are 10 and 1.